Andre Agassi's family, the naked truth. Andre Agassi is without a doubt one of the biggest tennis legends out there. But what you probably don't know is that this tennis goat has one heck of a family that has made him the legend he is today. From his record-breaking wife to his dad that was practically the brains and torture behind his career. Let's take a look at the family behind this eight-time world champion, Andre Agassi. Starting with his beautiful and amazing wife, Steffi Graf. Sounds familiar, right? Well, that's because Steffi, like her husband, was a mean badass on the court. We're talking of a woman with 22 Grand Slam singles titles. Steffi is also the only player to have won each of the four Grand Slam tournaments at least four times. That includes seven Wimbledon titles, six French Open titles, five US Open titles, and four Australian Open titles. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. You see, Steffi also held the world number one rank for a record of 377 weeks. With a resume like that, it's no wonder she has a lot of folks running after her. I mean, holding the number one spot for seven straight years with an additional 12 weeks, that kind of woman will hold you for life. And that's why Andre was head over heels for her. I mean, who wouldn't? Looking like that. Uh -huh, I mean, looking at all her achievements and not falling in love? Our boy was so in love that he wrote all the details about how much he was head over heels for her in his autobiography. It got so bad that he couldn't take it anymore. So, Andre sent Steffi a message after the French Open in 1991, but she didn't respond to his text. Andre was heartbroken. He thought about abandoning his quest to win her heart and move on. But rather than doing that, Andre became even more determined to fight for his love. And the opportunity to do that came at Wimbledon 1993. Steffi was on the hunt for another Grand Slam and Agassi was, well, let's just say he was more focused on winning Steffi's heart than he was on winning matches. But as fate would have it, they both ended up winning the tournament. Agassi was so happy because this meant that he and Steffi had to attend the dance together to celebrate their victory. This was the best chance for him to steal her heart. But unfortunately for Agassi, Steffi didn't make it. After that day, Steffi never looked Andre's way again. Probably because she was in a relationship with Michael Bartels at the time, and Agassi himself was in a controversial relationship with Barbara Streisand, who was 28 years older, but ended up tying the knot with Brooke Shields. Agassi could have given up his crush at this point, but he didn't. He waited, and as he got divorced from Shields, he started trying his luck with Steffi again. In 1999, Agassi even went as far as to schedule a practice session with her in 1999. And guess what? She actually agreed. And who said persistence wasn't key again? After the session, Steffi warmed up to Andre who continued doing everything to win her over. We're talking flower bouquets and all of that mushy stuff. He even wore a shirt with Steffi's face to practice one time. Telling you guys these are the things women love. Agassi's persistence eventually paid off, and they began dating. Shortly after that, they began living together until they finally got married in 2005. And the rest, as they say, is history. The pair has been happily married for over 18 years, and Andre has never lost an opportunity to talk about how his wife has always been the source of his motivation. Such a happy ending. And while there's no doubt that love is all sweet, if there's anyone that deserves the most credit for Agassi's success, it's not his wife, but... His dad, Agassi's dad, Mike Agassi, was a former Olympic boxer, so he knew a thing or two about discipline and training. Mike was so obsessed about making his son a professional tennis player that Andre was under constant pressure as a child. Agassi once called his dad a mad scientist when it came to training him. Agassi's dad would sometimes invent crazy drills that involved hitting balls while standing on one foot or blindfolded. I mean, it was so bad that Agassi couldn't help talking about it in his autobiography when he said, My father says that if I hit 2,500 balls each day, I'll hit 17,500 balls each week, and at the end of one year, I'll have hit nearly 1 million balls. He believes in math. Numbers, he says, don't lie. A child who hits 1 million balls each year will be unbeatable. Damn. Mike stole pretty much his son's childhood. According to Andre, Sometimes his dad would attach a tennis racket to his tiny hand when he was a baby, just so he would get used to playing tennis. So as soon as he started walking, little Andre had to hit the court. Playing with other kids in the park? No, no time for that. Little Andre was forced to be hitting 2,500 balls every single day. Talking about discipline. His dad was just obsessed with building a big future for his son, whether or not Andre liked it or not. 
Andre knew his father was giving him too much pressure and was making him miserable by having to work too hard. But in the end, he did succeed. Eight Grand Slam titles and 870 career wins in his 21-year career to be exact. It's fair to say Andre won it all. Despite all of Andre's success, for sure he doesn't want his children to go through the same childhood. So he swore not to be like his father, and we can say so far he has done just that. His kids. The American tennis champion is blessed with two kids. His son Jaden was born in 2001, while his daughter Jazz Ella was born two years later. And just like he promised, Andre and his wife Steffi made a conscious decision to let their kids pursue their own passions. In an interview, Agassi mentioned that he prioritizes his children's education and tries to instill a strong work ethic in them. But at the same time, he tries to balance being strict with being supportive and encouraging. Andre and his wife also decided to let their children choose their own paths instead of forcing them to follow their own footsteps. Andre's son Jaden picked up a baseball bat when he was just five years old. And in Agassi's words, he's never let go of it ever since. Jaden has been playing baseball at the University of California, and we wouldn't be surprised if he makes it to the Major League Baseball, because his coach, Evan Gussell, never misses an opportunity to praise his excellent hand-eye coordination and his extraordinary abilities as a pitcher. Now you might be thinking, isn't having tennis legends for parents a free ticket to sports success? Well, apparently not in Jaden's eyes. He's so determined to make it on his own that he doesn't even have his last name on his jersey. And honestly, you can't blame him. Because if you know a thing or two about the expectations that come with having successful parents, you'd understand how overwhelming the pressure can be sometimes. As for Jazz Ella, she's more of a mystery. Let's just say that she is a bit more low-key than her brother, so we don't really know so much about her except the fact that she plays tennis sometimes. And when you think about it, it wouldn't be a bad idea if we have one more Agassi shaking things up in the tennis world again, right? Anyway, we'll see how things go for the Agassi siblings. And speaking of siblings, did you know that all three of Andre's siblings are tennis players? His siblings! Well, now you know, the American tennis player has three siblings, Rita, Tammy, and Philip, And they are all tennis players, at least until they decided to go against their father. You see, Mike Agassi was actually obsessed with making all four of his kids tennis champions. He didn't even care much if they liked the sport or not. So as soon as they were born, he forced them to pick up a racket. His oldest daughter, Rita, was the first to break free from his grip. She ditched his 5,000 balls a day rule to marry former world number one tennis player at the time, Ricardo Pancho Gonzalez. And can you blame her? Trading exhausting practice sessions for romantic getaways with a tennis pro sounds like a pretty sweet deal. The rest of the Agassi siblings didn't fare any better in tennis. Philip, the second oldest, briefly played tennis professionally before realizing that the courtroom was his true calling. And Tammy followed in Andre's footsteps by pursuing a career in tennis, but unfortunately didn't make it big time. She did manage to win a few junior tournaments though, so big props to her. Despite their dad's crazy obsession with tennis, the Agassi siblings managed to carve out their own paths in life. Rita became an Olympic gymnast and went on to work as a nurse, while Philip became a successful lawyer. And Tammy may not have become a tennis superstar, but she's now a respected coach and mentor to the younger generation. Through all their ups and downs, the Agassi siblings have remained close and supportive of each other's endeavors. Maybe it's their shared trauma of being forced to play tennis as kids, but their tight-knit family dynamic has undoubtedly played a significant role in shaping Andre's success both on and off the court. Now, the only member of Andre's family we haven't mentioned is his mom, Elizabeth Agassi. And to be honest, we don't know so much about her. All we know is that she's married to Andre's father and that she is a survivor of breast cancer, which inspired Andre to open a foundation that supports women with breast cancer. Looks like the former American tennis star isn't just a hero on the tennis court, he's also a savior off the court. So there you have it, folks. Andre might not have had the greatest of childhoods, but eventually it got him to become one of the greatest tennis players of all time. If you want to know more about Agassi's life, check out his own bestsellers book called Open, an Autobiography. Link in the description below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to learn more interesting things about your favorite tennis players.